Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at Bizarro and his powers. He's a weird looking dude. But he's got some funny one-liners and everything he says is kind of, um, he's backwards. Let's take a look at his uh, movement. He's got flight. Obviously being um, sort of the bad version of Superman. He would have flight anyway. Um, and he uses brawling. For his weapon. And his cape pretty much floats up there the whole time. <laughs> Just seems to float as low like we're inside but um his his cape's always like floating around. <coughs> okay, so his first power is overhead smash. Hits with a powerful overhead melee strike that can knock an opponent to the ground. So you need to get in close for this. And it does take a little bit of time. So it's not the most ideal of uh powers. Not for um, PvP legends anyway. For PvE legends, maybe. But um, the kind of animation time is pretty long on that. Even though you kind of get the the burst of damage and the knockback before you even hit the floor. But it's a good nearly two seconds or so before you actually get that so they could knock you down or block it or whatever or move out of the way by that sort of time um, so obviously this is probably going to be good a good power to use for his um, his uh, solo instance that you can do when you're uh, when you're tier 5 you can do his one which is like his origin story there's one for the Huntress and one for Bizarro f in that same tier and uh, Bizarro's is like, you know, his, uh, his backstory and everything and that he was a clone of Superman that went wrong and, and all that. Um, so, you know, that would probably be a good power to use in that one and maybe the Legends PvE stuff, but I don't know about Legends PvP really. It just maybe depends if you want to risk it. Uh, so next one is Jump Smash. Smashes the ground with two large jumps to knock back and damages uh, nearby enemies. So you need to be in close for this one again. And this one again is quite a slow power. I mean, I found last time I used Bizarro was in his uh, solo instance thing that he has. And I found pretty much all of his powers very slow to, um, to do. And was finding that, you know, while I was doing them, the enemies were actually um, damaging me more than probably what I was damaging them. So, um, I mean, them two powers are pretty slow. Let's just show you one more time. See, so as you can see, like, could roll away and, and get away pretty easy while I was doing that. So, um, it's only really going to probably be good when you, you're probably in a small area with multiple enemies um, and there's other people uh, next to you as well. And maybe they're not targeting you like our um, two faces there with his back to me. I could maybe use that power to knock him down. Okay, so um, next one is Annihilate. Uh, hurls rocks with uh, massive force to damage nearby enemies. Okay, so you can't use it from range really, you've got to be quite close. I think the closer the better really. So it'll just punch the floor and rocks will come out flying. Obviously you see how up close it was doing a lot of ticks of damage. From a bit further away you might get the odd one. But as you get closer you, you're going to hit more so you, you probably want to be uh, within close range there. Okay so uh, sorry. next power uh, swoop attack. Fly straight at your opponent, damaging and knocking it down. So it 
so it flies in from range and uh, knocks down your opponent. You can use it up close as well, it will knock them down. This is a good power because um, it's, it's very fast, fast animation time gets you in close and the cooldown is, is very quick on it as well. So, um, and especially for Bizarro because most of his powers are very slow. Um, probably the two fastest powers are going to be this one and then hitting the floor with, with that. Um, but you have to be in quite close for that. The other two, the first two powers are way too slow I think. Um, so that's the first four powers. That was swoop attack. Then you've got freeze vision. Unleashes a freeze in blaster chill snare and eventually freeze your enemies. Inflicts frostbite to make enemies vulnerable to freezing effects. So as you can see, um, I'm stuck in the animation as well there. So it's, a, it's quite a nice power. Um, it does look nice and uh, freezes them in place so they can't move until they tap block to uh, break out. Um, but it's just the animation time because you can't you can't break out of it early. You can't you know get out of it early or anything. You're, you're stuck in that animation time. So while you're while you're doing that, you can be attacked. So it's not. It's not that great. Um, it'll be great if you're at range and you're not being targeted by anybody, and it's like you, you and someone else taking on one other person or a group of enemies. Someone's tanking them, and you're you're out far like that. You could maybe use that, and that be that would be fine then. But um, it's just that it's uh, it's quite slow, and you get you get what three, four, four ticks of damage, which aren't exactly massive amounts. So under about around about 200 or so uh, the last one is heat breath uh, blasts overly heated air to ignite and repel your target inflicts burning to cause damage over time so this one's the same as like the freezing breath is you know it's quite it's quite a nice power and you get some ticks of damage over time as you can see um, Two Face was taking damage there, and you can be quite far out, or if you want to, up up close. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend that for for doing this. Um, it's just this very slow power. Um, you're stuck in that animation for a good three seconds or so, or maybe even four seconds. You can't you can't do anything. So you can be getting damaged and and that in that amount of time. Um, so I mean, in, in total, that's that's the uh, six powers anyway for Bizarro, but. In, in, if I'm being honest, he's probably um, a character I wouldn't really use, um, especially now I've used him probably about seven or eight times, maybe more than that in uh, the solo stuff over over the time that he's been out. And um, I just don't find him very fun. I just find him very slow. Um, a little bit like that with uh, Superman as well, to be honest. But uh, Bizarro just, just feels very slow and his powers are just... You know, like that. I mean, it just takes ages and ages to do. And when you've got some legends that their their powers are just instant, instant, and they might only have one power that might take, you know, more than a second to do, but the rest of their powers are all, like, in pretty much instant. It's kind of... That's his fastest power, really. Is that. It's just bringing him into, into close range. And that's about it. I mean, that one's not a bad power. That's quite a good one, but you need to be up close for it to really work properly. And then the freeze ray thing and the uh, heat vision. You know, just very slow powers. I mean, they're, they're okay for if you're if you're going to be ranged and you're not going to be taking damage from people. Uh, maybe okay for the uh, legends PVE stuff because you'll have three other people around to uh, in your group to to help you out, so you can maybe stay range. While the others are doing, doing the, the uh, damage in that, but um, for Legends PVP stuff, I, do, I don't, I don't think he's any good. Um, I, if I had to use him, I'd use him, but um, there's too many other characters that I like using more than Bizarro. He's probably at the bottom of my list. So that's Bizarro, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.